And we're going to also use a so-called revised simplex method. Here we give you a theory first and how that's going to do. And we're going to solve the, <coughs> keep the, the uh, current tableau for the master problem. And the B inverse is the uh, B inverse for the master problem. And on the top, like a simplex, uh, revised simplex method, I keep my due constraint. And the right hand side, I have my current objective function, and B is the current uh, basic solution. But the current basic solution in the master problem, imagine the way, where they are. So I'm going to start writing. The decision variable. In the master problem right here are the lambda j, are the com, uh, convex combination way. Okay? And then we solve the sub problem. The sub problems actually generate a optimal solution for x, k, x star. And what is x star? x star is actually a extreme point. of the feasible region. Okay? So this is my optimal solution from the subproblem. And we're using this subproblem and to determine this extreme point is the best I can find for uh, in terms of ZJ minus CJ is a positive value. Then we're using that as an entering column and then we do perform a pivot. Okay? Perform a pivot. So we can actually uh, do a pivoting, very similar to revised simplex method. Later on, we're going to using a, a numerical example to show you uh, why. But here, what we want you to uh, understand, and this part is the current tableau for the master problem, okay? Not the uh, original problem. And this part is from the solution directly from the subproblem, which is one column only, okay, one extreme point. So for each one of the separable subproblem, we call it bj times xj equals to b2. So we have a smaller uh, b2j, which is only portion of that uh, subproblem. And then we can find <clears throat> this SJ is the feasible region for one of the J subproblems in the A2 portion equals to BJ times XJ equals to B2J. Okay? And XJ is less than or uh, greater than or equal to zero. For that, the entire X we can separate into P separate block. We're only dealing with several variables at a time, but total is still n variable, but we divided these variable decision variable x into p separate block. Okay? So kj will be the number of train points for this particular subproblem. Okay? Then we can using any of those, uh, any feasible region x bar equals to the convex combination of that particular uh, feasible region of the star problem. Then the original problem, original is a summation of a j from 1 to p, c transpose times xj equals to, okay, uh, j equals to 1 to p, and aj times xj equals to b1, and that's the original problem. Okay? <clears throat> and we can divide our objective function C into P separate block as well. Okay? And then we can rewrite our original problem into the C transpose times what? Summation of a lambda ij times xij. I is the subharbon of that particular uh, B block. And aj times lambda x 
ij times uh, lambda ij times xij equals to be 1. And of course, the convexity way, and that represents a convex hull of each one of the j portion. And of also lambda ij equals to, uh, as non-negative, so j <coughs> Uh, becomes one of those uh, issue, and can, we can rewrite our master problem into i j, since our sub problem can be divided into p parts. Okay, p parts. <coughs> and here, what we have is equals to some mention of f i j times the lambda i j. For master problem, what is the decision variable one more time? It's the lambda ij, okay? And <clears throat> subject to some mention of pij times lambda ij equals to b1. We're dealing with the first set of a uh, uh, difficult constraint. And <clears throat> lambda ij equals to 1 for each one of the p, okay? So how many lambda ij, uh, corresponding uh, do variable omega naught we have right now, we have p of them instead of just one, okay? So there's two layer of a complication. First, we only dealing with the mass, uh, difficult constraint first. And we're trying to solve the uh, <coughs> easy constraint separately and come back to the master problem. However, the the uh, easy constraints can be separated into p separate problem, and that's the ij double subscript coming up. So i represent the uh, number of extreme point in each one of the small block of uh, subproblem. Okay. Um, <clears throat> again, fij can be calculated fairly easily. C transpose times uh, xij, and um, pij can be calculated by a1 times a, aj times xij. So aj is supposed to be a1j, meaning only involve the difficult constraint, okay? And here what we have is the easy constraint, you're using b to represent it. And the subproblem can be developing accordingly. The reduced cost still is my objective function. Basically, I want you to see uh, the objective function for your sub problem. I want you to treat it as a zij minus cij for each one of the j block of a variable. Okay, nothing to change before. It's just now we separate our sub problem into p smaller problem. And, then, and we're solving each one of those, okay? And <clears throat> the revised syntax mental tableau, what happened is we have the original tableau, which is in the revised syntax mental. That's why I keep B inverse right here, the D variable up here, and the right-hand side, and the uh, uh, objective function. But when we solve a p separate subproblem, I'm going to have a p column trying to enter in this case. So I have a p of these column lined up each time. Since we solve the p p uh, smaller block subproblem individually, and therefore I have what p of those, and we're going to decide on which one is actually entering the basis, okay? And we pick one to entering based on the best objective function value right here. What is the maxima of those? Then we'll perform the pivot accordingly. So I want you to understand I'm using, uh, looking at the subproblem, the easy constraint as a big block, so I only have one do variable, uh, and that's uh, we have developing a subproblem, but if our easy constraints can be separated into p separate block, 
to solve. Then we will have P inter possible entering column. And then we just pick the best one. And we'll illustrate this in, in the numerical ex uh, example as well. But here we're trying to present you a, uh, <coughs> a theoretical background, how the uh, master problem was formed and how the uh, uh, sub problem was formed. And the sub problem is just trying to find the maxima zj minus cj to entering the basis. That's right. And also, since we know for each one of the uh, linear program, and the optimal solution is always at the uh, one of the extreme point. So we know this is going to be generating one extra extreme point, find another extra extreme point. Otherwise, in order to find the extreme point to define the convex combination of my feasible region, it's a difficult task. So we're not trying to find all the extreme point in the beginning. What we do instead is trying to using the maxima zj minus cj to find one extreme point at a time and add it into a basis. Okay, and that's the entire uh, idea. So we're going to stop our uh, video for uh, right now. I'm trying to explain the example in a separate video. Thank you.